portion, this will be central bubble loops that are dilated. Large bubble obviously will be peripheral bubble loops. So this is your small bubble and uh, this is your large bubble, right? So this is your small bubble loops, they are central and uh, these are your large bubble loops that are peripheral. So if central bubble loops are dilated, it is small bubble obstruction. If peripheral bubble loops are dilated, that is large bubble obstruction. And another important finding that you see is uh, in small bubble obstruction, you will have diameter, luminal diameter that is about 3 to 5 centimeters only, it does not go much more than 5. In large bubble obstruction, the diameter can go more than 5 centimeters. So, small bubble obstruction, large bubble obstruction. In small bubble obstruction, you see because the bubble loops can be present one above the other, you get a step ladder pattern step ladder pattern right and in small bowel obstruction you can see multiple air fluid levels giving you a string of pearls or string of beads appearance where you see multiple small bubble loops forming a string of pearls or a string of beads appearance whereas large bowel obstruction you will see a fecal sign okay mottled appearance of the air dilated bubble with mottled air because of the fecal matter inside and another important finding in large bowel obstruction is the presence of hostrations okay hostel folds will be seen in case of large bowel obstruction obviously small bubble loop would not have a hostel obstructions or hostel folds but the important finding in small bowel obstruction especially jejunal obstruction is the presence of volvule conventus in jejunal obstruction you see volvule conventus volvule conventus in volvule conventus these are circular mucosal folds which run through and through the bowel wall so these are called as volvule conventus whereas hostrations are only at the periphery of the bubble so that is how we know which is volvule conventus and which is hostrations so small bubble obstructions they are central bubble loops large bubble obstructions are peripheral bubble loops small bubble obstructions they will have a step ladder pattern or a string of beads appearance and large bubble obstruction will have peripheral bubble loops will have fecal solid feces sign inside them and you will also see presence of hostile folds in case of jejunal obstruction you see this volvule conventus which are the plica circularis mucosal folds are running through and through the wall of the bubble whereas hostrations they run only in the periphery the diameter in the small wall obstruction is less than 5 centimeters about 3 to 5 centimeters only whereas in large bowel obstruction the luminal distension will cause the diameter to be more than 5 centimeters in small bowel obstructions you will see valvule conventus if it is jejunal obstruction only ileal obstruction is featureless ileum is featureless it does not show any hostrations or any volvule conventus. So please look at this image. In this image, you can see the bowel loops present one above the other. So this is called a step ladder pattern. So when you see these bowel loops present one above the other, that is called as your step ladder pattern and step ladder pattern is feature of small bubble obstruction. Now look at this. What do you think is this? Is this small bubble or large bubble? Please identify the peripheral location identify that the bubble loops they are of very large diameter and you can see that there are hostile markings so all of them suggest that it is what large bubble obstruction so what do you think small bubble or large bubble large bubble so you can see peripheral loops few dilated bubble loops and also hostile markings now what do you think is this this is string of beads appearance small bubble obstruction, multiple air fluid levels giving a string of beads appearance, small bubble obstruction.